Hello! Hi everybody! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. We have a very special episode. We promised you a very special guest from the Hashtag family. And um, this person deserves an introduction. It is my best pal. It is the officiant who actually married us. Yes. She's also was my best woman at the wedding. Yep. She's an entrepreneur, businesswoman, sales extraordinaire, mm -hmm. and now the owner, you can hear a giggle in the background, and now the owner of her own skincare, like multi-million dollar brand, who I happen to know. Yes, and if I might add, yes, a very beautiful woman. Oh, hello. He's still creeping because she's my best friend, so he's just <laughs> trying to get into the best of the good books. Please, everyone, if you could welcome to the studios, Laura Lee Botsakis. Hi, that was a great introduction. You're very Thank welcome. You. I made I'll, it all up. I can't, I'll play for it later. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but I must say that. Um, being your officiant at your wedding was definitely one of the highlights of my life. Oh, thank you. And I can't wait for both of you guys to get divorced and married again. <laughs> <laughs> to each other. Oh, um, well, yes. Yeah, yes, yes, married to yes. each other. Okay. So, Laura Lee, why are you here? Well, let me tell you why I wanted you here. Okay. So, um, my best pal's in to visit. So we really wanted her to see what we do for like a part-time job. And we wanted her to be able to see a couple of, of pieces of art that we were going to produce in her honor. Oh. So tell everyone then a little bit about the name of your company okay. and, and what it's all about. Sure. Thanks. So my name's Laura Lee Batsakis and I am the owner and founder and the co-creator of Apollo and Artemis Beauty by Equality. Apollo and Artemis Beauty by Equality is an all-gender, all-inclusive skincare brand. We happen to be vegan, clean beauty. We happen to be proudly made in the USA, uh, cruelty free and PETA approved. But most importantly, our goal is that beauty dwells within the soul and shines on the surface. And we are committed to tenant that everyone should feel that way. We want everybody to be able to explore their inner God and goddess and age gracefully. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thank That's you. That's so gosh damn cool. And there was so much of it that kind of fits in with our channel. Mm -hmm. so, you know, so I see a lot of synergies. Like we say that all pores, you know, have their place. Yes. There's beauties in the eye of the beholder. What I feel is like, a, you know, like maybe not quite so great pore. Someone else might see and think that it's a really beautiful pore. Well, yeah. And I, I think that, I think that that's part of it, right? I mm -hmm. think that as we, as we continue to evolve in this life and create, you know, beauty really, it's, it's something, it's visceral. It's visceral. It comes from within. That doesn't mean that we can't still take care of ourselves. But the goal here is that aging gracefully, it's a symbiotic, right? right. It's that with, it, with inside right. our, of ourselves and of course what's on the outside. Right. And that's why we created this brand. Right, I mean, and you are the poster child for it because you're actually 74. <laughs> I am. But it doesn't look a day over 30. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy to me. Thank you very much. I Appreciate absolutely it. love it. Yes. So, um, absolutely, that clearly no, wasn't the case. case. But no. I am the poster child for you the are. brand because I do represent um, women of my age right. that it's oh. okay to look our age. We can. We just want to feel good about who and what we are and be the best versions of ourselves. Exactly. And our four core products are going to help with that. Well, that's super cool. And Thanks. you'll be learning a little bit more about those products as we go through the pool. So, how that's tying into this episode is this. Apollo and Artemis mm -hmm. are a god and goddess mm -hmm. that we are going to use as inspiration in yes. our pools. I love it. Right? I How love cool. it. It's amazing. I love that. So, tell everyone a little bit about Apollo first, which is going to yeah. be my pool. Sure, so let me first start by saying the reason we chose the name Apollo and Artemis Beauty by Quality is because Apollo and Artemis, yes, they are um, gods, they are a god and a goddess. They are said to be Zeus's most beloved. And they are twins. And yes, they happen to be physically beautiful. But more importantly, Apollo, he represents the sun. So he glowed gold and he is the god of the sun and fire and beauty. Okay. So hence the name Apollo and Artemis Beauty. I body. love yep. it. Thank and you. as anyone that follows the channel knows, we are not afraid of using gold. And <laughs> I'm going to do a fiery sunburst Dutch pour. So I've done a Dutch pour on the channel before. I'll teach you what that means as we go through this. Okay. But I'm going to use Golds and reds and oranges and all sorts of wonderful colors that we'll show you very shortly. 
And then Jeremy's doing Artemis. Yes. yes. And so Artemis is his twin sister. And once again, she happens to be, be beautiful. But more importantly, she is a huntress. And she was a warrior. And she had, they say that she had a quiver that just had her arrows were always, always being fulfilled, filled in her, in her, in her quiver. And so she represents the moon and she glowed silver. Mm, wow. Which is completely me. Right? Yeah. Hunter, moon, yeah. silver, oh, all of it. I mean, you're wearing a camo hat for goodness sake. Oh, yes. You're just missing a bow and you'd be Artemis all over. So um, yeah, love it. I, I really enjoy the idea of taking two super strong characters um, from mythology, mm -hmm. Greek mythology? It's Greek mythology and it's an yeah. ode to my Greek heritage. And okay. if I may, one of the things I just want you to say about that, if that's yeah. okay, is, is as I was saying earlier, the reason I chose that name is because Apollo and Artemis are to represent the male and the female, that yin and that yang, that gold and that silver, that duality that dwells within all of us. Right. And that's another reason that, that we chose that name because hence, that's, it represents Apollo and Artemis Beauty by Quality. I love it. That's super cool. And yeah. I think it's going to really tie in really nicely with this I think it's going to totally pop. It's okay. going to resonate for sure. So now we've got to do some pause and make this one proud of a couple of like right. really interesting pause. And I'm going to do a Dutch pour and you're going to do? I am doing a, using the Lazy Deborah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a straight pour. Okay. Yes, excellent. but in a very interesting way. All right, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm excited for you to be here and just see what we do. Me yes. too. Okay, all right, well then listen, without further ado, a couple of things to ask. Please go and like and subscribe. We'll put all the channel, all of the links, excuse me, to Laura Lee's social media channels down below. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go check out a little bit more about Apollo and Artists, you can do so too, which we would greatly appreciate. And um, that's it, let's get to it. Let's, let's get started. Yeah, all we're right. gonna see you at the table. Hello, and welcome to the table. It is Lee. I am very excited about this kind of Dutch poor sunburst that we're going to do in honor of Apollo, the god of fire. Yes, Exciting. and the sun. And the sun. Okay, so let me first explain my color palette. Okay. So clearly I've gone very reds, oranges, kind of golds. And what I have is the Quinacridone Burnt Orange, and that is by Golden, a color that I am obsessed with and cannot get away from. So that's a really fantastic colour. I have my Quinacridone Crimson by Golden, and to that I've mixed some Golden's Cobalt Blue Hue. I love that. To create this kind of plummy, purpley, kind of wonderful concoction here, just as a bit of a contrast to all the reds and oranges that I had, because it really needed it. I also have the Cadmium Red Deep Hue love and the Cadmium Red Light Hue. These are two Liquitex, Liquitex Basics colours. Thank you, Artemis. Um, <laughs> I also have... I love this. And thank you so much to Susan Shepperson for sending these through to us. And we're going to use them both. We got these in the mail and I was just very excited to try these out. So thank you, Susan. Nickel Azo Yellow by Golden and Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden. So mm. she's clearly watched the channel because... Oh, those are gorgeous. Nice they, job, Susan. They really are. Look at this. Look it's, at like, that. it's like molten, molten gold. Oh. Gorgeous. It's stunning. So thank you so much for Truly those. Truly represents Apollo. There we go. There we go. And then finally, we have a white. And okay. I've mixed my own. It's a metallic pearl and a titanium white mixed Love together. It. That's our white colours. Handing those to Jeremy off. Mm. Just off camera. He, Jeremy doesn't have a microphone on today because Laura Lee's got hers. Now, I also have a blick black here, and this is going to be my base coat. Now, Love it. Talking of black. It's, it reminds us of my our products. Absolutely. And does. packaging. Look at this. Now, for some reason, it's not reading particularly well, but oh. I know I think it's the silver, but I'm catching it in the light here, okay. and it looks great. Which one of you just handed me, Ooh. Lily? Yeah, so I handed you the alpha. Alpha, first letter of the Greek alphabet. Alpha is our vitamin C facial essence. If you're not using a vitamin C serum, you absolutely need to be using one. Can I Every just rub oranges on my face? Absolutely not. But oh, okay. essentially, if you'd like, this is going to be pretty close to it. Because okay. this is made from a fermented broth of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh. This contains 20% L-ascorbic acid, the highest amount allowed on the market. Alpha vitamin C facial essence is going to help those fine lines, those wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, any sun damage. It uh, gets rid of all those. It's a great product to help you age gracefully. And I gotta say, Jeremy uses this every night, mm -hmm. and then I use this one, but this is my favorite. It's the best. 
Thank you. The Oracle Eye Cream. Thank you. I'm really proud of the Oracle Eye Cream because where other eye creams just work on the lower part of the eye, Oracle Eye Cream provides a full 360 degree eye care experience. We help with deep puffing. We help with fine lines and wrinkles. Nice. We act, do you know that actually Oracle has been proven to lift the upper eyelid? Um, and that's because it, contain, it contains this trifecta power of Arabian jasmine, hawthorn, stem cell from an orchid plant, peptides, hyaluronic acid. Oh my God. I mean, if, if you know anything about skincare, this is really essentially, this is a superior, superior product. And I do love it, and I do use this one every night before I go to bed. Um, and and I, I use this one in the morning as well. Yes, so yeah. all of our products, another concept of a Pollen Artemis Beauty by Quality is like, hey, listen, man, you know, life is complicated, your skincare shouldn't right. be. So these are four premier formulations that any god or goddess can use. It's easy, right. you use it in the morning, you use it at night, and then we, f and then of course our third product is Visage. Which Jeremy also loves. I love it, it's our yeah. facial mist. What's incredible about Visage is that it's jam-packed with peptides. What are peptides? Peptides are amino acids. What are amino acids? They're the building blocks of proteins. Those proteins that we need in our skin are collagen and elastin. So Visage is like, well, you know what? Hey, you guys are painters. Visage helps to contour, to oh. sculpt, oh. and to actually lift lift and contour your face. And it's great for hydration. You can take it on the plane, throw it in your purse, wear it. Actually, it's great to put like as a set, uh, like, to, like to set your makeup. Oh, super cool. Yeah. Okay, so any drag queens out there, this is one of gonna be Actually, great it's very for you. Actually, you mentioned that because I specifically kind of created it for our, our, our friends in the LGBTQ community. I, I love it. Yes. Okay, and then finally, in the set of four, we've got a, me a mega a me face serum. That's correct, a mega, last letter of the Greek alphabet. That's how you remember um, that it's the last thing you're gonna put on. And that is our plant-based squalane. Mm. Um, our squalane is derived from sugarcane. And once again, we're very proud that it's, it's, uh, it's derived in a sustainable manner. It's gonna help with that cell turnover. Once again, it's gonna help with your collagen, your elastin. It's gonna plump, it's gonna moisturize, it's gonna hydrate. All of our products are gonna let any god and goddess look glowing and refreshed and um, if I didn't say this, you know, we're proudly made in the USA. Right, I get it. I, I you know, I Thank hear you. these adverts, people on TV be going like, I've been using this, no. it's so great. We, Jeremy and I really do use these. I know that. And when we bought these products from you, you didn't even give us these free of charge, even I though you not. offered, but I wanted to buy them and I wanted to use them. Just and like I, I bought one of your paintings. You did, you did. I, yeah, absolutely <laughs> you did. But I, I, I wanted it to be like, I wanted to have a neutral view on it. I didn't want to say I loved it just because you gave it to me, right? That was my no, thought behind I, it. No, and I appreciate that because I kind of feel similar to you right. guys, right? Like, you know, I don't want to just tell you that something is, is beautiful. Right. Um, unless obviously we all need that to have that visceral experience. That's cool. So um, just so everyone, so you know, because everyone at home will know what I'm doing, I am now just coating my canvas with this base coat of black. I love it. This mixture, my recipe for this pour is a recipe of 50% Floetrol, 25% acrylic paint, and then 25% water. This is so cute. That's, I love it. Like even just like that, look how cool that looks. It looks like an right? envelope. I mean, it really does. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> look. So the, it really does. Oh yes, darling. So the reason why this is kind of runny, and you'll see the difference mm -hmm. when, when Jeremy shows you his consistency, okay. is because this type of pour that I'm gonna do today is basically all about the paints running on top of each other. I love that. So what I'm trying to do here is create a coat on the canvas that basically just allows the rest of the paints to travel. Understood. Yeah? Yeah, it's great. And we're using black because I really wanted those other colors to pop. pop. And I also wanted it to kind of represent your packaging. Thank you. Yeah, yeah we, we, you know, it's interesting because we specifically chose black, whites, silvers and golds, as we discussed earlier, to represent Apollo and Artemis, but also to represent, to let, you know, once again, it, it, because it, because it is for all gender, right. you know, you don't really kind of quote unquote want to put a color on gender. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like that neutrality, so to speak. Yeah. Like a shade of equality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I really like it. I, thank you. It's not masculine, it's not feminine, it's kind of just, it is what it is. Or maybe to some it is masculine, to some it is. It's, it's, it should be whatever it is to you, right? You can interpret which it I, way. Which I think is very similar to what art is, Absolutely right? Absolutely it is. It's how you connect to it. So how long did it take you 
to kind of get the formulas right for the products before you even started like putting them in a jar? Oh gosh, uh, well, <clears throat> I've been working on a pollen ornaments with my chemist who actually happens to also be my cousin. And my chemist has been involved in uh, R&D for for well over 25 years. So I, I feel that I, that I already came to, with that to an advantage. But we started working on a pollen ornaments um, in 2018. Oh, wow. And we didn't launch until just uh, in October during the pandemic. Right. Our lab is in Nashville. All right. And, um, it, so every single product, we throw, there have been multiple, multiple versions of our uh, products. This is really neat. So, Point being that everything I tested, obviously, on my like if you came to my my bathroom in my home, literally it looks like a, a drugstore. Like it's an just, like uh, a yeah, it's just a like chemist. A of totally, just like tons and tons of different versions of our products. Awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like Jeremy and his soap making. Listen, you had to go through all these different kind of recipes and formulas until well, you, you got the one that was right. And, and people don't understand like just how much it takes to get to that just like with our art like just this consistency that. took us a while to kind of find it well, was trial and error right and then everything changes one after it's been in a bottle right or then two once it reaches oxygen right, right. so for us it's very similar to our products i mean right. it's like okay so how is that and then how long is it going to last right and how are you going to maintain the efficacy and the integrity so that that was part of the process as well so my process so far is this i've put my base coat on the canvas we've torched it with a torch you, you said wow that's really cool yeah you know what happens is when you throw paint on a canvas like this you create little air bubbles and what i don't want to have happen is air bubbles stay on the canvas because as it dries they create pockmarks right. exactly right like pockmarks on the skin darling you know i just related everything back to skincare skin. it's totally working okay so this is my quinacridone burnt orange i love that color yeah really I do. I, I, Jeremy's favorite color is orange. So this is definitely his favorite color. Now, um, do not mind what this looks like on this canvas, Laura Lee, because there's gonna be something we're gonna do with it. No problem. I love it so far. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. I, mean, I would love to try it. Well, you, you may well get the chance. So that was the, the quinacridone burnt orange, and this is the cadmium light hue. So we're gonna go around the orange with the light hue. And as you can see, it's starting to look a little fiery already. This is the deep hue. I love it. It does. It's very. It's. It's already very Apollo-esque, isn't it? It is. Now this is the color of my making. It was that purpley kind of plumish color. This is what Susan sent us. Oh, Susan's got great taste. She really does. And I really, I really can't wait to see how the gold that Susan sent us. Which is this one here? Yes. Now I'm going to use this twice. So first off, I'm going to put it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Within the yellow, but then I'm also going to put it right in, the middle, in middle. the middle with a squidge more of the black. Now, just a tiny amount because you'll see I'm going to use this negative space in the middle to help me blow the colors out. So, people's at home, what you oh, amazing, will now see. Sorry. No, it's okay. Is little Pinky. It's our little hairdryer that we use for our Dutch paws. I absolutely love this thing. This was a gift from Mina Vallega, so thank you, Mina. Thank you for the wonderful gift. Um, I'm gonna first off blow these colors out, and then we may go back in for, for more color. Okay. But I'm gonna see how this looks first, okay? You might wanna stand back ever oh. so slightly. Okay. Because this might go everywhere. Okay, so let's do this. Let's blow this pour out. Oh, it's unbelievable. Okay, okay, okay. Right. I do enjoy it. I do. I have a, I have a, a visceral reaction to it. Okay. So let me tell you what I'm enjoying most okay. whilst I torch this off. So I love this top area here. 
Um, I love all of the reds, the oranges and the yellows, but I'm not enjoying quite so much this area down at the bottom. Um, I think it's maybe just a little too subtle and as this dries, these could actually dry a little darker. So what I'm going to do is just another ring of the colours in the middle, mm -hmm. using the orange, the red and the nickel azul yellow mm -hmm. and blow out over the top. Yeah. Yeah? Go on, carry on, what were you going to no, say? No, no, Please. I, I, I do, I see it. Okay. No, what, what, what were you going to say? Talk to me. Because this is, we, I have my studio hubby in the channel and I have my studio best pal in the channel. What are you thinking? I think after you do the color, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Susan's gold because I think we, I think you might want to put a little bit more back in. The gold as well. Mm -hmm. I agree. Not right. No, maybe, go on. Yeah, maybe not right now, but maybe after you do, is that the process? Can you blow again? You can, I, you can blow this out, I would say, just one last time. Because otherwise what's going to happen is we'll, we'll get real kind of muddy colors okay. around I think, here. I think, I think then you might want to add a little bit more gold. What do you think? You're thinking so too. Jeremy's nodding in the background because he's not on mic. So let's do this. But I am actually only going to do like a semicircle of color because well, yeah. I don't want to touch this area for the top. No, I don't think you top. should. I think it looks really nice. Okay, so let's do this here. You know, this is one of the really wonderful things, Laura Lee, about fluid art, is you can re-pour, pour, you can pour over. I could do kind of, you know, I could ring a cup, I could do whatever I wanted on here, you know, I can, you can play with it. I can't wait to have these paintings in my office. Well, oh, look at that. I didn't know that you were intending on having them. You know? <laughs> maybe, maybe that's something we can arrange. Ooh, you yes. never know. But I'm not going to do any more of the purple, which was which was my colour. Oh gosh, you know what? I didn't even put the white on. I kind of don't know if you need it. I, I don't think I do. I'm not going to go in with the white, but I didn't put it in in the first place. So, yeah. Can I make a... Go for it. I would actually put some more gold right in the center. Me too. Right? A dot, like a, a round dollop of gold in the center. But I'm not blowing this way, which is why I put it this way. Oh, well then go ahead and do another, another line of gold at the top. Okay, got it. I can do that, like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because the black is swallowing up that gold. Right, I'm only gonna put a little bit of black in the middle, but I do need something to help the colors move. All right. So let's see what happens. Let's blow this bad boy out again. Okay, and I'm gonna to torch this off real quick. Oh, come on, that's amazing. So what happens yeah. when you torch, Laura Lee, is mm -hmm. you're popping the bubbles that are sitting underneath the paint and the, and the composition, and then that helps you also get these kind of like little cells and these little areas. So it brings depth. It does, and composition to right, it too. Right, right. And um, there's a very strong possibility that as um, this sits and dries, this central, central area, could have paint popping up underneath it too. It's going to be amazing. It's, I, I love it. Even it's beautiful, and then it's very Apollo-esque. Okay, that was that was the look we were going for. All right, so um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a popsicle stick. I'm going to clean up my edges real quick, and then we're going to take you guys in for a close-up. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to introduce my colors to you guys. I got some really interesting colors today. The Artemis colors. Woo! Yes, All right. I'm really excited about. Thank you. Yes, Artemis, the goddess of birth and archery. Archery the and moon. moon. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, okay, so uh, the first of the colors is this Bahama blue, which she was very teal, and this is very teal, not teal. Uh, turquoise. Turquoise. And this is a very turquoisey kind of color to me. It's absolutely lovely. I love this. It's by Deco Art Americana. Um, the next one is this Alizarin 
Crimson Hue by Liquitex yeah. Basics. It's a beautiful reddish color. It's beautiful. Um, I also have the Phalo Green by Artist Loft. I also have this Iridescent Rich Silver by Liquitex, which is a beautiful silver, you guys. Love the silver. Ah, uh, amazing. Then this Metallic White by Artist Loft. So, as you can see, I already got my canvas all flooded. Got it all over my fingers here. And, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start layering my cup so we can get started. I think the first color that I'm going to use is this really lovely Bahama Blue. That's so pretty. I'm gonna do just little layers. Little layers. I'm gonna do the lovely shade of green. Next. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Going with a little bit of this metallic white. Next, I'm gonna be careful because I'm gonna go in with this silver, and this silver will take over like you don't even know. So just a tad bit of that silver, you guys. Then, this unbelievable red. So go back. It looks really nice. With the white next. And this blue. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do a little bit more, just a touch of the silver. Literally a touch, pink, like that much, literally that much. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in with the screen. This is gonna look really great. Blue. I'm gonna do something scandalous. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the red next. Well, we love that. <laughs> then the white. And I think I'm gonna call it a day. That's not enough paint for this canvas, is it? Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna call it a day. I'm gonna keep going. A nice palette. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Me too. I think that's enough. I'm stopping right there. And these layers are crazy. Yeah. Let me show you. Look at that. These layers that are in here are just so insane. beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so I am going to start this straight pour. So let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. Oh my god, that's so amazing. That's crazy. That's unbelievable how pretty it already is. Well, thank you. You're welcome. All right, got a little bit of a squiggly in there, but that's okay. 
Okay guys, my canvas is already flooded and ready to go. So you know what time it is? It is tilting time. And I am ready to do this. You know, I would love to wreck this right now, but <laughs> uh, uh, I love wrecking a good ring. Um, but this is a straight pour. All right, so let's do this. I can't wait till this opens up. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, could you hand me that torch, please? Sure, Ken. I feel like yeah. your assistant, like your dental hygienist. <laughs> you are my assistant today. Yes, I am. I have a beautiful assistant. There we go. I have my Vanna White, you guys, standing next to me. <laughs>
Uh, all right, you guys. I think I'm done with this. I think I'm just gonna absolutely, what do you think of that right there? That doesn't bother me. Is there, what were you thinking? Hmm. This corner is kind of bugging me a little bit. But it's starting to, it's doing that like mm -hmm. over here like that. Yeah, it's fascinating. Hmm. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with that. What, is that one's bothering you? It's, no, this corner is bothering okay. me. That one's okay. I think that's fine. But this is bothering me over here, but it looks like it's starting to happen all through the edge here. Yeah. It's starting to sell up, like the black is coming through, and right here it's starting to do the same thing. So I'm just gonna leave it, you guys, and I'm gonna get my edges, and uh, we can take you in for a close-up, and that'll be that. That's awesome. This is Artemis. Uh, yeah, and it actually looks like her. Laura Lee. Yes. You got to see a sunburst in the inspiration of yes. Apollo. Mm -hmm. And you got to see a wonderful straight paw in inspiration of Artemis. Yes. yes. Jeremy, I... tell us about your straight paw. Well, um, this straight paw right here, I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe block everybody for a second. Okay. Um, came out really well, I thought. Uh, I thought the colors of the Apollo, I mean the Artemis, really work together. Um, I just love this, this, these colors and the silver really didn't take over, which I'm really surprised of. Um, but I just, I do, I love this. Um, I hope you guys do too. I can't wait to hear your comments on it. I think you tamed the silver in this one. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. What do you think of it? I, yeah, honestly, I love it. It's beautiful. And I think I'd mentioned this to you guys earlier. I really feel like you can see, um, a woman's face in here and it just kind of reminds me or resonates with me rather mm -hmm. of that, that, that that fire, or that, that power that Artemis has within. Oh, so I oh, love it, so I thank you. Too. I thought it was a really successful straight pull. Thank you. Well done, hashtag studio hubby. Okay, and if I may do the same. Yes. Sure. So this is a little different than the one that you saw on camera because I futzed with it a little more. I actually noticed as I pour, blew this out that I forgot to add the white. So um, I went back in with some more layers of color and then added some of the white in here, which I believe it needed just to add some contrast and to help the other colors pop. So this was my Apollo inspired fiery sunburst mm. Dutch pour. Laura Lee, what oh, do you think of this one? I love this one as well. And I love it. I, it totally represents Apollo, the sun, Oh, the golden color. I love it. And what I love really on the most is the juxtaposition of them together, right? Because the Apollo, the Artemis, the light, the dark, uh, the, the, the diff even just the, 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 the way the colors are just even in different shapes. It's so indicative of who and what they were. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, thank you. You know what it reminds me of? Go on. This could be Apollo's eye, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. iris, like in battle. Like it's like yeah. fiery and you could see the like fire in his eyes. That's oh, wonderful, I love it. And then I definitely see the woman with the hair yeah. and the, the face in the, in the middle of the straight ball. Well done, Studio Hobby. Nice well job, done, guys. Lovely. Fantastic, Yay. thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me, I'm excited. Well, in honor of mm -hmm. this little episode, Lolly, yeah. I know you've got something you'd like to offer everyone sure. at home. Yes, yeah. so first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for um, everybody out there for allowing me to be a guest on this incredible, momentous occasion. And um, on behalf of Apollo and Artemis Beauty by Quality, I would like to extend an offer of 10% off our entire line. So if you go to Apollo and Artemis Beauty.com and at checkout, put in the discount code MASSE10. That's capital, all capitals, M A S S E, and then the number one and the number zero. And that will offer you 10% off our entire collection. And as always, in the United States, free shipping. Woo! Oh, wow. That means we can get our next set with 10% discount. That's correct. Yay! <laughs> 
So um, there you go, folks. All the information will be down at the very bottom here as well. Thank you so much for Thank watching. You. Thank yes. you for being here. Thank you. It was I love so you. much fun. Oh, we loved you being here too. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please, please, please. You know it helps the channel, helps the algorithms, and all of the Art Apollo and Artemis information will also yeah, be on the bottom. Yeah, thank you. The algorithm. Exactly. Yeah, follow us too. Thank you. Yes. Guys, we'll see you back here for another wonderful episode on Sunday. Yes. Another premiere. So thank you for being with us. We'll see you all Sunday. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye. 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 So there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to, and that's to our Patreons. Patreon. Uh, or, as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now, the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So, at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes videos. What? You might get up the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, at a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. Yeah. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases yes. to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Salonki, aka Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, aka Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. Yes. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.